Hello students, myself Mohammad Asim, Assistant Professor in Mathematics, Art Science Commerce College of Nagpur. Uh, today, we will learn some examples on beta and gamma function, in which uh, we have studied some definition and different forms of beta and gamma function, and we have seen relation between beta and gamma function. Now, we will study the application of beta and gamma function to solve many examples. Since in this chapter definition of beta and gamma function is very important, different types of different forms of beta and gamma function is also important and the relation between beta and gamma function is also important. So let us evolve Definition and let us see one definitions of beta gamma function. Beta function. Beta function is defined as beta m equals to integration is the from zero to one. X raised to n minus one, one minus x raised to n minus one dx. Similarly, gamma function is defined as gamma of n integration from zero to infinity raised to minus x, x raised to n minus one dx. Correct. And we have seen the relation between beta and gamma function. Relation between beta and gamma function. Beta and n is equal to gamma of n into gamma of n upon gamma of n plus n and if we see beta function in trigonometric form we will see beta m n is equal to 2 into integration from 0 to pi by 2 sine 2m minus 1 theta into cos 2n minus 1 theta d theta and we have seen number of forms of beta and gamma function now we will try to solve some examples on beta function example is given as Integration from 0 to 1 or evaluate integration from 0 to 1 x square 1 minus x bracket x to 15 dx. It is in the form of definition of beta function and let us consider it as A. Now compare with compare one equation one one with <coughs> beta function beta function which is equal to zero to one x raised to m minus one one minus x raised to n minus 1 dx. After comparing equation 1 with definition of beta function, we will get n minus 1 and n minus 1. n minus 1 is equal to there is 2 and n minus 1 is equal to 15. This implies that n is equal to 3 and n is equal to 16. 
Correct? Therefore, we can put the value of M and N as 3 comma 16. Now, we have one here. With value 3 comma 16, we have to calculate the value of we have 3 comma 16. Uh, now we will solve this example by using the relation between beta and gamma function. Since we know that beta m n is equal to gamma of n into gamma of n, gamma of m plus n. Correct. Now if we see beta of 3 comma 16 is gamma of 3 and gamma of 16 gamma of 3 comma 16 is it correct? yes and since we just using the relation between beta and gamma function we write beta of 3 comma 16 is equal to gamma of 3 into gamma of 16 upon gamma of 3 plus 16. Since we know that gamma of n is equal to n minus 1, gamma of n minus 1, or we can write it as n minus 1 factor. We know these both result or uh, a single result with different two forms. Beta of 3, 16 is converted into gamma form, gamma of 3 into gamma of 16 upon gamma of 3 plus 16. Now we can write it as gamma of 3, gamma of 16, and gamma of 19. Correct? 3 plus 16 is 9. Now, after solving, 3, gamma of 3 means n minus 1 factorial means 3 minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 factorial, 16, 16 minus 1 factorial and 19, 19 minus 1 factorial, 3 factorial, 3 minus 1 that is 2 factorial and it is equal to 2 into 1. 16 factorial means 16 minus 1 factorial means 15 factorial and it becomes 18 factorial. Correct? We have using gamma of n is equal to n minus 1 factorial. So 3 minus 1 factorial means 2 factorial and which is equal to 2 into 1. 16 minus 1 factorial, 16 minus 1 that is 15 factorial. Similarly, 19 minus 1, that is 18, 18 factorial. Now, 2 over 2 into 15 factorial. 18 factorial is 18 into 17 into 16 into 15 factorial. We are stopping at 15 factorial because we have 15 factorial in the numerator also and denominator also. So we can directly cut 15 factorial directly. So we will get 2 over 2, 2 over 18, and we will get 1 upon 9 into 17 into 16. Correct? 9 into 17 into 16. What we have done? We have used beta and gamma relation to solve this example to solve this example we will see the result will be our result is 1 upon 2448. 
we have to, we have given, we have to evaluate integration from 0 to 1, x square, 1 minus x, that is x raised to 15, dx, we have to evaluate the value of this integration. What we have done? We have compared this equation with beta and gamma function. Beta function. After comparing beta function, we can calculate the value of m and n. So m minus 1 is equal to 2 and n minus 1 is equal to 15. M is equal to 3 and n is equal to 16. So our function becomes beta of 3, 16. Now we are going to calculate the value of beta 3, 16. Since beta mn, we know the relation between beta and gamma function. Beta mn is equal to gamma of m. Gamma of m into gamma of n upon gamma of m plus n. Now, we have put the value of m and n in this equation. Start. Then gamma of n is 3. Replacing m by 3 and n by 16, we get gamma of 3 into gamma of 16 upon gamma of 3 plus 16. And gamma of 3 into gamma of 16 upon 3 plus 16 is 19. It becomes gamma of 19. And we know that when we calculate gamma of n, we will get n minus 1 factorial. So, gamma of 3 becomes 3 minus 1 factorial. Gamma of 16 becomes 16 minus 1 factorial. Gamma of 19 becomes 9 minus 19 minus 1 factorial. 3 minus 1 factorial means 2 factorial. And 2 factorial can be right in the form of in the form of 2 into 1. Similarly, we can write 16 minus 1 factorial, 15 into 14 into 13 into 11 dotted into up to 3 to 1. But in uh, denominator, we have 18 factorial, 19 minus 1 factorial means 18 factorial, and we can write 18 factorial as 18 into 17 into 16, then 15 factorial. So we can calculate, easily cancel out 15 factorial in numerator and in denominator. So we have written 18 factorial up to 18 into 17 into 16 into 15. Correct? Now 15 factorial and 15 factorial get cancelled. 2 on the 2, 2 9 the 18. We get 1 upon 9 into 17 into 16. And the result of this calculation is 1 upon 2448. So it is the final answer or it is the final calculation of this example. Now we will see the another example. And the example is as follows. Integration from 0 to 2. Integration from 0 to 2. Integration from 0 to 2. X square dx upon 2 minus x. Now evaluate with the help of beta function. Evaluate this example with the help of definition of beta function. So, um, we know that the definition of beta function is given as beta of m n is equal to integration from 0 to 1. Integration from 0 to 1. 
x raised to n minus 1. 1 minus x raised to n minus 1. There are two things which we have to observe in, the, in this definition. First is integration having limits 0 to 1. Second portion of this 
formula has 1 minus x raised to n minus 1. So we can use 1 minus y instead of 1 minus x raised to n minus 1. I think you understood what I want to explain you. First of all, remember we have to make upper limit as 1. So since they have given x is equal to 2 to make here 1 we can divide x by 2 we will get 2 by 2 is equal to 1 and that limit or that variable x by 2 we consider as y consider y and is it okay for rest of expression if we put x equals to 2y and can we get 1 minus y then if yes then it is our assumption is correct so this equation 0 to 2 x square and we can write it as 2 minus x raised to minus 1 by dx correct 2 minus x raised to 1 by 2 and when we take denominator into numerator the sign of the power changes and uh, 2 minus x raised to 1 by 2 in denominator converted to 2 minus x raised to minus 1 by 2 now put now put x by 2 is equal to y this implies that x is equal to 2y as limit changes of x limit of y changes when x is equal to 0 y becomes 0 when x is equal to 2 y becomes 1 so we will get integration from 0 to 1 x square and x is equal to 2y so we can write it as 2y bracket square then 2 as it is and x as x is again 2y raised to minus 1 by 2 and dx taking differentiation we will get dx is equal to 2 dy correct so dx is equal to 2 dy here we will get integration from 0 to 1, 2 square that is 4, y square taking 2 outside, we will get 2 raised to minus half, 1 minus y raised to half, 2 dy. Correct? Now, 4 to the 8. 2 raised to half means root 2 integration from 0 to 1 y square 1 minus y raised to minus 1 by 2 dy now compare this with definition of beta function we will see that m minus 1 is equal to 2 and n minus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 2. n becomes 3 and n becomes 1 minus 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2. So beta of 3 comma 1 by 2 you will get gamma of 3 gamma of 1 by 2 gamma of 3 plus 1 by 2 gamma of 3 is 2 factorial we know that gamma of 1 by 2 is root 5 and gamma of 3 plus half that is 7 by 2 and we know that gamma of 7 by 2 is equal to 5 by 2 3 by 2 1 by 2 and gamma of 1 by 2 which is equal to 2 by 5 by 2, 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 and 
root 5. Root 5 root 5 will cancel. We get 2 as it is. 15 upon 8 and which is equal to 16 upon 15. 16 upon 15. Correct. 16 upon 15. The value of this part only. Now, we put this value at the place of integration. So, we will get 18 root 2 into 16 by 15. And we can write it as 4 into 2 into 16 by 15 to 2 and 4 into root 2 into root 2 into 16 15 into root 2 root 2 into we cancel we will get 16 for the 64 root 2 by 3. It is the required answer of our exam. Therefore, we can say that integration from 0 to 2 x square dx upon 2 minus x is equal to 64 root 2 by 3. It is the final answer of our exam. So, in next lecture, we will see another examples. Till then, uh, keep your knowledge and try to solve some more examples from the textbook. Till then, thank you.